Why do I do that? Just because we are almost done with World 6. Yay, and I... Uh, I hate this green star. Not because it's hard, cause it, but because it's not. Because it is all the way at the end of the level. There it is. <laughs> I, mean, I forgot to say this. Thanks a lot, Nintendo, for the big giveaway. As always. I can't believe that it's actually legal for Nintendo to put a baby Goomba in here when we're this far through the game. Okay, again, I am cutting now. Alrighty, once you get onto this strange planet with all these chain chomps mimicking you, as I said, the green star is on top of one of these clear ball thingies. <laughs> so, there you go. Almost done with this game, yay! Okay, final regular galaxy in World 6. And really the final uh, ordinary galaxy, just because I consider World S to be a uh, special, as what the S stands for, special world. Because all of its, because all of its galaxies only have two stars and four if you count the green stars. Unlike the regu the other worlds where you have four galaxies with three green stars and three galaxies with two green stars. So I don't know where these are, so let's see how this goes. Oh, I think I, yeah, I remember where these are now. Sorry people who like laughing at me, but it's not gonna be the case now. Well, probably is just because I've never had good luck with these green with these green stars. I always end up just just completely losing air with these. I don't see how light can harm an enemy. You want to get rid of as many of these things as possible when you come through. So slow down your shell very slowly. And the green star's behind this thing. I never have enough air to grab it. I just failed miserably the first time I played this game. But for whatever reason, I do it finally. It's all part of my tactic. If I say I'm really good at a green star, I fail miserably, and if I say I'm going to fail miserably at a green star, I do fabulous at it. Okay, so this second green star is one of the few green stars that is surprisingly well hidden. And that's one of the reasons I never was interested into the, in the Galaxy series until I, until I really studied them. Just because I, it looked like they were way too complicated for my tastes of video games. I used to be a very casual gamer. Now I'm a pretty hardcore gamer. I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself. Why? Because, well, I completely got in the launch star when I knew clearly that I was not supposed to get into the launch star. <laughs> So, we shall try this again. I'm not proud of myself for doing that. So, as usual, grab air. I've always wondered how how does Mario and Sonic how do Mario and Sonic both keep this had both keep this much air when they're underwater? I do they have like an invisible oxygen tank or does the or does the Luma have special magic powers that that gives Mario like an extra long breathe, breather underwater before he has to pick up an air bubble. I don't get it. Now that I think about it, I like this place. I like Slimy Spring a lot. So I used to hate it, but now I really like the layout and design of this place. I think it's very nice overall. Wow, this didn't, whoa, I just killed all of those. Do not get in the launch star, whatever you do. And if you do not get in the launch star, you'll find a little secret area. And I love the detailing of this. 
This one star is wet, I guess, and they have all these raindrops. And you can't really go back in. But you will find a one up here, and you will find your green star at the very edge. What a nice place for Nintendo to put it. Wow, this world went by so fast just because it is time for Bowser's Galaxy Generator's green stars. They, unfortunately, I was about to say thankfully, unfortunately, just because I love, I can't help but love Bowser. We can't fight him. We don't have to. We're on a quest for stupid green stars, and that's not really all that hard. But <laughs> I want to fight Bowser. It's just so fun. But anyways, we will start Bowser Galaxy's Bowser's Galaxy Generator's green stars in the next part, and then after that, we will take on the oh so evil world S. <laughs> So that's all for this video, thank you and goodbye!